Hi everybody. So I wanted to put a video together today uh, to go over how to fill in the graphic organizer in the Your Turn book for Unit 3, Week 4. So the first thing you're going to want to do is either have your Your Turn book, the hard copy, that's the green covered book, or uh, your device and logged into your Wonders account. So I'm going to, of course, be doing everything digitally here. But it is nice to have the hardcover to make your notes and your first draft. And then hopefully everyone is attempting to put their work online. All right, so first things first, for the Your Turn Organizer, we're going to be using the anthology story of Abe's Honest Words. So at this point in time, in the second week of our story, you should have read this at least once uh, and probably have come back to it several times to answer questions or just to get clarification. So, if you go through the story, you will find that Abraham Lincoln had some very specific things that he felt were really wrong with the country at that time. And they keep popping up throughout his whole entire life, well in, and into his presidency, that stay with him. He, that he feels like that this was an injustice to other people, and um, that is where we're going to start talking about the organizer. So if you can't remember what author's point of view is, you will come to the Reading Writing Workshop book. Now I've conveniently opened all these tabs already. So Reading Writing Workshop book online is going to be under your Read tab. And you're going to find it where you find the Elizabeth Cady Stanton story. If you click Read, I believe it is the first little button. Click to the end of the story, turn the page, and here's author's point of view. So we're going to talk about author's point of view. The author's point of view is his or her position or attitude about the topic of the selection, meaning your story. Looking closely at the reasons and evidence presented in the text uh, will help you figure out how the author feels about this topic. And then it goes into the Elizabeth Cady Stanton story. And you can get some ideas here for what the assignment is. So when I come back to, let's see, have I opened that yet? No, story, reading, writing, workshop, book, lesson. So I'm going to come over here. I don't have an interactive drop down uh, option in this drop down, but I will have it next. So my version works a little differently than yours. Here is my interactive copy of the graphic organizer. I believe this is page 132 in the Your Turn book. If you look in Unit 3, Week 4, it's generally the second page after the vocabulary and before the fluency. All right, so I'm going to click on my T for type. I'm going to hide this other menu. And I'm actually going to start at the bottom. I'm going to click my cursor in. Um, you can write with a stylus. I don't recommend it. It gets very messy very quickly. Um, even for me, I have a hard time keeping things organized in that way. So Abraham Lincoln felt that, that slavery was just not fair. It was an injustice to people. Uh, and one part of the book he calls it hideous, or the book, the story. Um, so we can take that as his main point of view through this, uh, this biography that was written. So something like, um, so Abraham, Abraham Lincoln, felt that slavery oops uh, felt that slavery was wrong and should be stopped. something like that that whatever your point of view is he is is very clearly and vocally anti-slavery um, talking about how all men are created equal and you know, life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness for everybody. So this is a big uh, social issue at the time. Uh, now, if this is my point of view, well, it is a point of view in the story. I'm going to come back up here through the details, and I'm going to keep my text, my type button. Now, just do the best you can. I don't. There's not a lot of movement on the cursor itself. But if we go to this first empty box here, I would like for you to find something in the beginning of the story that shows that 
early in Lincoln's life, he already didn't like the idea of slavery or had some bad experiences with what he saw. If you go back to the, some of the early pages in the book, um, again, book, you'll find, let's see, this is towards the end. Let's go back a few. You'll find different articles. I believe it is in here. Yeah. So uh, in his quote, you can really see it. And also in the actual story itself, that this was just something that was wrong. <clears throat> All right. Excuse me. So let's see if I can refind where I left that spot. There we go. So find me something in the beginning that proves this point. And then I'm sure you could predict that I'll actually want you to find something from the middle of the story and also again from the end of the story. So in the beginning there, um, Abraham Lincoln saw that children were being separated from parents, parents being separated from children, um, other family members that would possibly never see each other again. Uh, that all these things were disturbing to him. So you can copy straight from the text. Um, now be careful if you copy from the text because just because you copy the text doesn't necessarily make it a right answer or, <clears throat> excuse me, or even prove your point here. So, goodness, allergies right now. <clears throat> all right, so when you are working in the interactive version, you need to save often. There is no automatic save on this, so be very careful on that. I'm going to close this out, and I think that is going to just about do it for working in the graphic organizer. It is one of the more challenging uh, parts of our week. That's why it's, it's in the second half of the lesson. Um, it's where you need to think and use the story to find what our author's point of view is. I hope this uh, video helps. Again, all your stories are in your Wonders account under the Read tab. This one will pop up right away. I'm going to start closing these out. And this particular page is in the Reading Writing Workshop book. Also under the Read tab, under the Elizabeth Cady Stanton story, and you can get some ideas of what you need to do from this book. And then this is back to my, my page. So anyway, guys, I hope this helps you. I hope that you are working actively on your uh, week, unit three, week four work. I will be posting the test on Friday. And we'll be starting a new story on Monday, May 18th. Okay. Thanks, guys. Have a great day, and I hope to see you soon. Bye-bye.